It's tournament season here in ETSU Athletics. I'm Parker Schwartz with the latest edition of Buck Update Central, the weekly ETSU Athletics highlight show. Well, ETSU baseball continued their eight-game home stretch with a series against Western Michigan over at Thomas Stadium. We'll see how they did there. We'll also go over to softball as they had the Winthrop Invitational five games in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Mentioned that we have some tournament play. That occurred in the SoCon Indoor Championships for track and field in the MSHA Athletic Center as men's and women's basketball ended their final regular season games of the season. The six ETSU seniors honored Tevin Glass, Hunter Mascara Perea, Peter Jerkin, A.J. Merriweather, Isaac Banks, and T.J. Cromer. Teams trading the lead early when Furman engaged a 9-0 run to jump in front by seven. Paladins eyeing a regular season sweep of the Bucks. At the end of the first half, a 9-2 Buccaneer response made it just a basket lead for the visitors. The Bucks take the lead in the second half, and it was all because of that guy. Cromer and Glass combined for 32 points in the second half, guiding ETSU's offensive hand. After a three by Devin Sibley, Furman leading by four with minutes to go. But the senior, A.J. Merriweather, with a punch right back. David Burrell on the next ETSU offensive possession to give the Bucks a lead. Back and forth we go. Credit Furman, though. A last-second heave is good. John Davis, we're headed for extra basketball. That's where the Bucks outscored Furman 19-7. Cromer, who scored 15 of the last 17 points in the second half, pushing the Bucks in front by three. And moments later, the other senior 1,000-point scorer, the Bucks win 93-81, to a huge win over the Paladins. The women's team fighting for a three-seed heading into the conference tournament, hosting Wofford. Not a bad first half at all. ETSU leading by as many as 14 points. The Bucks are the lead also going into halftime. But the Terriers outscore the Bucks in each of the final two periods. Chloe Wanick with 14 for the Terriers to lead the charge. Raven Dean, though, her seventh straight game in double figures. The good news to the Bucks. And Sadeja tips 17 total rebounds, a career high. Still a chance to the Bucks in the waning seconds, but Dean botches the land, and Wofford wins 54 52 in an upset. Still a shot for a three seed in the tournament, senior day as ETSU honors Yamil Rodriguez, Adrian Vaughn, and Shamaria Bridges. In the second, Bridges knocks down a three, a historic one to give her the most in a single season in Buccaneer history. Bridges had 26 points on five threes. Junior All-American candidate Tiana Tarter with 31, her SoCon leading fifth performance of the season with 30 or more registered. Of the 149 points scored against the Paladins in two wins this season, Tarter and Bridges with 114 of them. With UNCG's loss to Western Carolina, the Bucks wrap up the three seed heading into Thursday night's SoCon tournament. Now in first in the SoCon after the Furman win, the Bucks was suffocating defense Saturday night in Cullowee. ETSU held the Catamounts to just 12 points, a season low for a Buccaneer opponent in a half. The Bucks go up big as Hunter Mascara Perea executes the finish. Right before the half, Cromer at it again, and despite the Catamounts' 40 second half points, the result never in doubt. ETSU finishes a season sweep of WCU, 68-52 the final. Regular season outright conference title on the line, ETSU and UNCG. The Bucks out in front thanks to a rim rattler by Mascara Perea. Both teams cold shooting in a close game. ETSU out to her four-point advantage three minutes before the half. A.J. Merriweather. But going into halftime, UNCG up four, a wire-to-wire -wire affair. What did the Bucks in? A 15-3 run for UNCG to begin the second half. Senior Francis Alonzo, eight of those points. And the Bucks did not lay dormant, though, and gauge a 20-4 response. The Bucks right back in the game, tying it up with minutes to go in regulation. But ETSU could not muster the stamina to close it out. Alonzo again. He had a game-best 23 UNCG regular season SoCon co-champions with the Bucks and Furman. That means ETSU men's basketball will be the three-seed in the Southern Conference Tournament. They play Saturday night against Bob Hoffman's Mercer Bears. The Bucks 2-0 against Mercer this season. The women's team will play Thursday night as the three-seed as well against the Samford Bulldogs in Asheville, a 6.30 tip-off time. 
Well, the baseball Bucks were back at it inside Thomas Stadium. They won their first two series against Michigan schools. Now, another one, Western Michigan. For whatever reason, Tony Skull's team brings the bats out on Fridays. Game one with the Broncos, 12-7 the final. ATSU built an 8-1 lead on Western after two innings. That included the first home run of the season for Hagen Owenby, the home run derby champ, yard to left. Later in the inning, Seth Cunningham with RBI numbers two and three of the day. ETSU getting bottom of the order production. A five-inning start for Ryan Simpler. He grabs his second win in as many tries. Fanned seven batters without a walk. No walks issued in ten innings this season. To cap it off, Caleb Longley with a long flight of the left field lounge. And the Bucks are three of three in series openers this season. After winning Saturday, ETSU has won all three of their series on the campaign. In the Winthrop Invitational, softball took four or five games, moving to eight and seven overall. On Friday, the Bucks' strong opening start from Madison Ogle paved the way for a win over Eastern Kentucky. The extra innings offense of Tiffany Lauren and a two-run homer by Taylor Carter sunk the Winthrop Eagles. The Bucks also picked up wins over Youngstown State and a Sunday 11-0 victory over North Carolina Central, a one-hitter for Ogle and Kelly Schmidt. In the contest, two more round trippers. For Taylor Carter, the Brazil-Indiana native now with five homers on the year. Over at the MSHA Athletic Center, the SoCon Indoor Championships. For the second consecutive year, the women's team finished third. The men also impressively grabbed third. Junior Patrick Taylor for the Bucks won the SoCon's Heath Whittle Award for the most points scored at the meet. Senior Katrina Seymour was named Most Outstanding Athlete for the women, winning three titles and one as part of the 4 by 400 meter relay. Senior Nathan Rivera captured the men's heptathlon SOCON title. And senior Matt Moore triumphed in the 60 meters. Joining Seymour in the 4x400 win on the women's side, Kyra Atkins, Kiana Davis, and Lamisha Simmons. All right, next week we will have all the highlights of ETSU men's and women's basketball as they look to grab berths to the NCAA tournament. Again, the men play on Saturday at 8.30 against the Mercer Bears. The women start with a Thursday night tip-off at 6.30 against the Samford Bulldogs. For our entire crew, I've been Parker Schwartz. This has been another edition of Buck Update Central. <laughs>